You've got some things to learn about how rich people function. just kind of fell in my lap. I remembered reading it and thinking, you know, this really isn't like me. Um, I'm kind of a country girl. I thought, well, why not? I'll give it a try. She's no good for him. She'll just drag him down. You know, Fallon, most little girls realize by the age of six that they can't grow up and marry their daddies. Friends shouldn't fight. You're right. Bye, Andy. When I first went in and we read the script as a group, it was very humorous, and my character was kind of funny. I mean, it was it had a tongue-in-cheek, satire-y kind of feel. And I was really surprised that people in the room were laughing whenever I opened up my mouth. Oh, this one's Bradley Milburn. He killed his wife three years ago. He strangled her with her own pantyhose. It cost him half a million to get him off. That part was really fun for me, that it was a lot kind of looser, or kinkier, at least in the beginning, than I had planned on. I tried to put a devil may care attitude into the character because it seemed to add more of a light touch rather than her just being evil. That's kind of a cardboard way to look at characters, you know, being bad, you know, as opposed to being good. You know, we're all a mixture of both. Your father's money's not a gift, it's a responsibility. All the hell it is. You want to feel guilty for being born rich. I don't. Even if a character's wild or bad, it's, it's much more intriguing when they're human. You can see all the different gray areas. I didn't really think of her as being a bad person. We haven't had a mother around for a very long time. That could be it. Here I am, scandal of Colorado, and here you are. Blake Carrington's mistake. Boy, we are a pair. Her history was that she was raised by her father primarily. The mother had gone away and whatever, so she was very protective and very connected. So if your present methods are not working, perhaps you'd better try... A little Carrington hospitality. Fallon, would you please... Okay, okay, I'm gone. I'm only trying to say that you might catch more flies with honey than you are with buttermilk. Out. Out, please. Daddy. Out. Daddy, will you listen to me? In Dynasty, and it was very easy to play because, of course, John Forsyth was just a sweetheart, so we had a nice relationship off camera as well. So he really felt like my father at times. So he's trying to tell me to behave. We were a family once. Now, I'm losing my son because of this. You're losing your brother. You two scratching at each other's eyes. I think most everybody was thrilled about the success, except for me, because <laughs> I was like, uh-oh, <laughs> this thing's starting to get in my face. Please leave him alone. I'm press, Fargo Post. I've got a right to be here. He's been through enough, please. Be fair, Mrs. Colby, I've got a job to do. This is worth 150 bucks to me. If you think this is anything, you wait till that trial in Denver begins. I mean, that one's got to be a full-blown media circus. As you go along, you need to have things to draw from. And, it, you know, it's really quite a talent for people to stay in television year after year, playing the same character, and yet bringing something new to it. My inability to do that and the writing being where it was, it, it got harder for me. Take Crystal off my father's hands and away from him. For his sake and for hers. In yours? In mine. Just being in Hollywood in general changes your life. I actually hadn't planned on being an actress. I mean, I was really making money for college, and the next thing I knew, I was in, you know, film and television. Lots of stuff still scares me. Like, I won't amount to anything. that I won't measure up to Blake Carrington. It was an opportunity and a privilege to be able to do it. 
you know, and when it wasn't um, right for me personally anymore, I was able to move on. So all those things were, you know, just the way they were, meant to be.